What's going on everyone and welcome back to Anime Champion Simulator where today I'm gonna take a godly white beard, perfect stats on it, Omega 3, 150 on each category and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the versions with the quirks that has Boxer and Titan versus Boxer and Celestial and I'm gonna do that on the DPS dummy and also the devourer. I'm also gonna equip my team with both sets of quirks to see which one performed better on the dummy and talk more about Crimson Demon and Black Hole. Now here is what I have, this is Godly Whitebeard, it just has the Ichigo skin on it, 18.7 trillion, that's the average DPS, here we go, this is perfect Omega 3 stats on it, and here is the DPS breakdown, all of the information we have here, what I'm gonna do later on is compare this to the other stats so you guys can know which one could be better. So let's go ahead with a DPS dummy, I know a lot of people don't like this, but I'm just gonna do it anyway, since I have it here, this is the Boxer Titan. And let's wait for the highest DPS or the let's see the peak DPS to see the highest point of damage and then we can compare the other ones and if I need to do further testing I will do it this is the highest point the highest peak damage that I had 39.6 trillion and this again average DPS is 18.7 trillion that's the same boss DPS let's go ahead and look at the stats there that's the same boss DPS for this now what I want to do is enter this place and now with the Omega 3 white beard with the Ichigo skin this time which has 18.7 trillion average DPS I want to just go ahead and use that unit alone I don't have any other units equipped and I'm going for a perfect score which means that this beast is not going to hit me once so I can't see the difference and I'm just going to show you by the minute here's the last minute it did pretty good and I'm just gonna keep on going until I can get it down to the last few seconds. Over here we have 6.60, we're almost done with that. And the final result, let's see that, 6.75 quad. That's with the Boxer Titan. Here we go, this is the 18.7 trillion average DPS. And here is the final results. Damage dealt is 6.75 quad, the total DPS this time is 37.5. Now I realize why people prefer to see this versus the previous one which is the DPS dummy. I got rid of Titan, I added Celestial, I was so lucky to get it very quick on here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and look at the average DPS, 11.4 trillion versus what it used to be which is 18.7. When you look at that, the first reaction or at least my first reaction was uh oh this may not be worth it I mean 18.7 trillion average DPS versus now 11.4 that's a major drop in the average DPS and you don't know how it's gonna affect you unless you actually test out the units in raids in the devourer but let's look at the breakdown side by side the first thing you want to notice is that the boss DPS for the Boxer Celestial is slightly higher than it once was when it comes to the Boxer and Titan. It used to be 18.7 trillion DPS and then now it's 21.6. But this alone may not be enough information to know which one is better. It depends on what you're doing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and do the same test I did earlier with the Devourer and test this out on its own with perfect stats or not stats but basically I didn't get hit by this beast just like we did last time where we got 6.75 quad that's the total damage on it and let's go ahead and show you guys what this one did if you just notice like on the last two minutes it's at 2.67 quad whereas the previous one when it came to the Boxer and Titan that one was barely at 2 quads, so this one is doing much better results and higher damage on this boss, because obviously, you know, boss DPS. So, if you just notice the difference here, it's a lot higher. We already beat the stats. 6.75 quad for the previous set of quirks has already been beaten, and the final result is about to show up and it's gonna be 8.13 quad. So with the Boxer and Celestial, it did 1.38 quad more damage than what the Boxer and Titan had. But still, that's still not enough to make the final judgment to say which one is better. But let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison between the two. On the left, we have Boxer Celestial, and then on the right, we have Boxer and Titan. And here are the final results. For Boxer Celestial, the damage dealt, the total damage dealt is 8.13 quad, which is 1.38 quad more than Boxer Titan. 
the total DPS on here is 45.1 trillion versus Boxer Titan, which is 37.5 trillion. Now looking at total DPS, that kind of confuses me. Why is this a bit higher than the dummy DPS? Is that inaccurate like people say it is? Or what? You know, like I can't rely on the dummy DPS like I did for the previous video, but let's just do this anyway since we're here and we're just testing it out to see the difference between the two. And you guys be the ones to decide which information would you go with, the Devourer or the one that's available here. And even though the Devourer showed us that the total DPS for Boxer Celestial is better, this shows us a different result. The peak damage here is 23.6 trillion for Boxer Celestial, and then the Boxer and Titan has 39.6 trillion DPS. What I want to do here guys is this is my old team. It doesn't have the Ichigo skin but Godly White Beard, the Omega 3 Godly White Beard has the Boxer and Titan and I'm just going to compare one unit difference with Boxer Celestial versus Boxer Titan. So I'm going to go ahead and equip my team and head over on the dummy DPS to show you guys my total damage and this is with the X2 damage potion on and let's look at the highest peak point this is 1.22 quad that's the highest dps i have with my old team now what i want to do is i'm going to show you guys the difference with only that godly white beard in this case it has the ichigo skin no difference it has the warrior uh, ethics on it it just has boxer and celestial i'm just gonna have to fast forward this to show you guys the difference the final result is 1.12 that's a difference of 0.10 quad that I dropped down from just using the Boxer Celestial in this case. So what I'm going to do in this case after everything I just witnessed is I'm going to take my godly white beard and I'm going to change it from Boxer Celestial back to Boxer Titan. Why? Because I notice it's like the best of everything. It's like the best overall damage for everything that I need would be Boxer and Titan. However, if you're aiming only for the Devourer and also only for bosses, then yes, go ahead and change it to Boxer Celestial. But if you're aiming for higher mob damage and just like the best of everything basically, then stick to Titan and Boxer if that's what you have for the punch builds. Last time I relied heavily on the DPS dummy, so this time I'm not gonna make that same mistake. This time I have a godly Gojo with Crimson Demon and Titan and I switched it to Crimson Demon and Black Hole and now I'm just gonna compare what the results are with my new team versus my old team when I only had one of the mages with Crimson Demon and Black Hole. So with my old team plus that Boxer Celestial Godly Whitebeard, I got 1.12 quad, that's my total DPS and then I went ahead and changed only one of the mages from Crimson Demon Titan to Crimson Demon and Black Hole and now my total DPS damage on here is 1.14 that's a 0.02 increase and this is something I wish I did on the previous video I wish I didn't rely heavily on the DPS dummy but in fact just to test out my entire team together and maybe to test out with the devourer then I can get a clearer idea on which is better so that's my bad and I apologize for that but I'm learning and hopefully in the future I can provide you guys with content that you can see and you can judge for yourselves which one is the best setup to go with. This might be off topic but it's worth noting that two people are now able to complete the Cursed City Titan Trials. In this case I had 1.14 quad total DPS and my friend here Looney Tunes plays has 1.3 quad in total at the time. And imagine that's enough, that was enough for us to complete this in less than two minutes to go on the clock. You can also watch Looney Tunes plays. He has a lot of content that he streams on the Discord, on the official channel of Anime Champion Simulator. If you just drop down, you're gonna see a bunch of people who always do the, the live streams. And a lot of people do watch his content and I do enjoy it. I've known him for two years and he's just a stand-up guy, but I'm so glad that he helped me out here. If you want a chance at winning any of the giveaways on here, all you have to do is be a subscriber, like the video, and comment down below with your Roblox username. Otherwise, there's no way I can reach you and other people can have the same username as you have on YouTube. So yeah, make sure you do that. Congrats to Tenchi on winning either Faster Quirks or Multi Open Game Pass. And that's it for today's video everyone, I really hope that this content and this information has been helpful to you. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and liking the video, that would mean a lot to me. Hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all on the next one.